Hello friends, welcome back. My name is Priyandra Kumar and in this video you will learn how we can create this stunning battery chart in Microsoft Excel. So as you are seeing my screen, I have created this chart. Uh, these chart are totally data driven chart which is connected with this service level, quality score and sales conversion. If I will change the value of service level, let's say 80%, then you can see this battery chart of service level will be changed. And if I will change the value of quality score, let's say 65, then you can see the change here. Sales conversion, let's say 20%, then you can see the change here. So friends, uh, we will learn today how we can create this by using uh, the Microsoft Excel. And we will use few chart and uh, this uh, few shapes to create this chart. So let's start without delay. I'm going to add a new worksheet here click on this plus button you can see this uh, sheet has been added so first of all i will create a chart for service level so here i am uh, taking service level or sl percentage i am taking some random number let's say i am taking 70% here i will uh, put a formula on column h1 and that will be 100% or 1 minus this g1 actual service level value I will select this uh, these number G1 and H1 and go to the insert and I will insert a chart. So I'll go to the column chart and I will insert a 2D stacked column chart. Click on this. All right, now right click on the chart and go to the select data. Click here. And you can see this option available which is switch row column. Click on this. Now click on OK. You can see our chart has been changed and it will look like this and just uh, resize this chart. Now right click on the uh, vertical axis and go to the format axis. Here this format axis window will be opened. In this window uh, put the manual value at zero. However, it is already zero but still just type here zero. So this auto will be changed to reset. And here maximum value will take 100%. So I will take one here. So it will also be reset. Now this is manual. So just close this window and now click on this plus button or you can directly remove this axis. Click and press delete button. But I am removing from here. I want to remove the axis, both the axis, chart title and grid lines, all the elements basically. All right. Now right click on this chart and go to the format data series. Here in format data series, you can see this option available which is gap width. Currently it is 150%, just take it as only 20%. All right friends, now change the chart size again. And just take this size almost. And go to the format. Here in format, uh, uh, remove the shape fill take is no fill for the entire chart all right and then uh, shape outline take as no outline so first of all i would like to remove the grid line from the worksheet so just click anywhere on the worksheet and go to the view here in view you can see this option available which is grid grid lines it is currently checked just uncheck this all right friends now uh, what i will do i'll go to the insert then i'll go to the shapes First of all, I will insert a rectangle, this simple rectangle and drag here like this. Go to the shape fill and then go to the more, uh, sorry, not in outline, shape fill and go to the more fill color and go to the standard color. Just take uh, any light color like this. I'm taking this one, click on OK. All right, now we will give some color to the outline. So what I'm doing, right click and go to the format shape, which is already open basically. And now I'm going to the line. Here I will take a solid line. You can take any color. I'm taking let's say white one and just give the transparency as 100%. All right, friend. And now just give the bit as uh, 2.5 this one 2.5 okay and now just copy this and select this blue slice which is for the service level value 
go to the fill and go to the fill this option here select the fill uh, as picture or texture fill select this one you can see uh, this default texture has been filled now click on clipboard because we have already copied this shape so click on clipboard all right now just uh, scroll it down and you will see this option which is stack and scale with click on this and just type here 0.1 means 10 percent so we want this one picture for each 10 percent okay click outside here and you will see it will look like this now select this slice which is orange slice and go to the fill and take it as no fill all right friend now it will look like this if i will change the value of service level 100 percent then it will see you can see it is filled 100 percent all right friend now uh, the time to create this battery so go to the seat 2 again and now i will insert another rectangle here so i'm taking this rectangle the same rectangle and drag it like this first of all remove the shape outline take no outline now right click and go to the format shape which is already open and fill here some gradient fill so this is some default gradient fill available here now what i will do i'll take this is our first stop take the second stop on 10 percent position all right now here we will take four stop at the end so i'm taking one more take this as 70 percent position and another as 80 percent the next one and the next one at 90 and again this is on 100 all right now we will fill the color in the first one i will fill as black color this one and the second one i will fill the white color this one and the third one again i will fill the white color then one black and one white like this and this is white and this is black all right friends now uh, i'll change the direction you can see this is some other direction so i'll go to the direction make sure here uh, should be linear it is already otherwise you can select it so direction i'll give this one okay uh, linear right so it will look like this now here in the black one i'll select the black one and the transparency i'll give the 60 percent so select another black this is another black again give it 60 and another black and give it as 60. now the time to select this white one to the white one i'll give the transparency as 80 and select another white 80 and here is also 80 all right friends now our shape will look like this so i'll make another copy of this copy and paste and i'll resize this like this i'll take almost this size and just keep this here okay now select uh, this is already selected and i'll change the color for this one and i'll take only five uh, this is stop so i'll remove this stop from here okay and now i'll take first one as white and second one i'll take uh, this gray color so i'll take this one and third one again i'll take this uh, gray color or uh, sorry second one i'll take white and first one i'll take gray color this one okay and now here i'll again take this white and again this gray the third one again this white so we have not given any transparency now you can see all the stop there should not be any transparency all right now it will look like this now i'll go to the make sure this uh, small part has been selected now go to these effects and shadow and go to the preset so i'll keep this uh, offset bottom all right now 
the i'll change the biller i'll take almost 35 or 30 point so it will look like this now just keep here and copy and paste this and keep one part in the bottom and make another copy and paste and this time just keep above of this and just resize this like this and keep it here all right friends now select these all shape together right click and make this group and keep it here like this change the size resize this and taking this size and change the chart size also like this all right this is almost done now uh, just insert another rectangle so i'm taking this one uh, here you can take it from here this round, rounded rectangle and just drag it here now pick this yellow handle and change the corner uh, radius and right click and send it to web all right now fill the color some like uh, this dark blue and just keep it here now go to the safe effects and shadow and this keep this one which is offset center so it will look like this so friends i am creating only one battery you can create another battery the method will be same only you can change the color of this step uh, currently i have taken this sky blue you can take another color you can see here all right uh, all right friends now here i'll put this service level and this 80 percent or data level okay so i'm taking here let's say 82 percent then you can see it will look like this so i'll go to the insert then i will insert a tax box click on this tax box and just drag this tax box here now click on this and go to the formula bar press equal to and click on this service level so you can see it is connected with the service level if the text will be changed for the service level so it will be changed so align it uh, center center and just keep this here so since it has background color so remove the background color go to the format and remove the shape outline take no outline shape fill as no fill and just make it bold all right friend now uh, we will take just select all and put here now go to the insert or just you can make the copy of this tax box which we have already created and just keep it here and just press equal to and now this time connect it with the service label press enter go to the insert and take uh, font name remove the bold from here take impact and the size almost 30 35 and the color we will give the theme color so theme it this one this color all right friends so it will look like this you can create the uh, other chart also in the same way or you just need to copy this this is the frame it will remain same for the all chart you can make the copy of this chart and change this color and change the connection okay friends i hope you have enjoyed this video Thank you so much for the watching.